junior footballer, 13, tragically dies after medical emergency on the pitch. A teenage footballer has tragically died after a medical emergency on the pitch on Saturday, the Nottinghamshire Football Association have confirmed. Samuel Akwasi, 13, was described as very well respected by his teammates at FC Cavaliers in a statement released by a spokesperson for the club through the regional FA. Nottinghamshire FA is saddened to inform you that following a medical emergency during a youth game yesterday, 13-year-old Samuel a player for FC Cavaliers has passed away, the statement reads. Samuel Akwasi FC Cavaliers U13's player. Samuel has been playing for FC Cavaliers from U9s until now. He was very well respected by all his team members. The medical emergency occurred during a match between FC Cavaliers Green Under-13 and WBCYFC Rossoneri Under-13. The fixture was being played at the Forest Sports Zone at the Forest Recreation Ground, the home of FC Cavaliers, according to an FA match listing. Writing on Twitter, the Nottingham FA added, We send our condolences to Samuel's friends, family and team mates at this extremely difficult time. Tributes to Aquasi flooded in on social media the Dorset County FA replied to the tweet by writing, Heartbreaking news, our thoughts are with Samuel's family, friends and all involved at his club. One supporter wrote, So sorry to hear this sad news thoughts are with his family. Another added, Sincere condolences, such sad news. Prayers and thoughts are with the young man's family. The devastating event marks the second time in less than a year that a youngster has died following a medical incident on the pitch. West Bridgeford Colts player Dylan Rich died at the age of 17 during an FA Youth Cup fixture in September, after he reportedly suffered a cardiac arrest. A statement from his club read, It is with great sadness that, following the events of Thursday evening, we have to announce the tragic passing of Dylan Rich. This news has left everyone involved with our club devastated and heartbroken. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his parents Mike and Anna, his sister Lucy and Dylan's family, friends and teammates. The club would like to thank everyone within the Colts and wider football community for the hundreds of heartfelt messages and thoughts that we have received over the past few days. The club will provide all the support it can to those players and club officials impacted by this tragic event, but for now there are no further words possible, and we ask everyone to respect the family's privacy at this incredibly difficult time.